Welcome to another painting tutorial, guys. This time we're gonna paint a tyrant. This is the miniature when it's done. And I'm very happy to say a thank you to one of my subscribers. He just uh, made a proposal that I make a list of the things or the paints I used. Now we start with the uh, prime miniature. I used Vallejo spray primer for this miniature. And I primed it white. So first color is Ushapti Bone. We're gonna do all the skin areas of this tyrant. Be sure to thin down your paint at least a little bit so you avoid strokes on the skin area. And I just wanted to say that this is my first tyrant I ever painted. And um, it was real fun. And just tell me what you think about the end result of this and um, what is right or what is wrong maybe there are some things i haven't seen or something like that just tell me and this is how it looks when it's uh, dried and i've done two coats on this miniature now we use evident black to do the carapace and also paint the gloss and evident black as well. And you see, uh, I've, I haven't painted the back of the head here, but um, I simply haven't seen that uh, there is a um, area which I have to paint black as well. Try to work very slow with uh, the black and to be very exact because when you paint over your Shapti bone again you will have the problem to easily fix this. Mostly you need uh, two coats to correct it. Now we shade the skin with Caraba Crimson. So never mind if you paint on this uh, black carapace. Um, you won't see the shade when you paint all over it. <laughs> um, but try to use it only on the skin. And if there are some some stains or something, just correct it with black again. Now, the shade isn't dry yet, so I thought it might save time when we now do the highlights for the carapace. So now for this step, we need um, serious purple. Uh, for edge highlighting the carapace and to do some thin lines on each plate. I will show you this step. Um, this purple tone is not really uh, easy to see in this video, I know. Um, black and purple, like black and grey, always hard to see. And again, when you have some, some areas here where you say, okay, this was uh, too rough at highlight, you can easily correct it with evident black again. For these thin lines, please make sure that um, you thin down the paint and you, you, you must not load the brush 
too much with paint just uh, a little bit so you can easily uh, easily uh, control this by you doing these stripes this is how it looks after we've done this step next we're gonna do another highlight with Jean Steeler purple Just do the, these fine lines again, thin down the paint of course, at least a bit so it's easier to paint this. So now I just want to show you how I create a sharp tip for the brush here. Um, just load the brush with paint, then turn it and at the same time pull it. And then you will get a very sharp tip to, to have these fine lines. This is a good hint to have a little bit more control. And now the last step for the edge highlighting is uh, youthful and grey. Again, highlight these fine lines. Don't overdo it, just, just a little bit. On every um, shield or armor plate of this carapace. So this is nearly done now and this is the result I'm satisfied, I'm very satisfied. Um, now before we gonna do the skin or the highlights for the skin I will paint the weapons and beyond. I start with corn red. I'm just doing this because I just want to avoid painting on the skin and um, the skin is a very needs a lot of time and uh, I just want to avoid to, cor to make corrections again uh, which will yeah which will take a long time and this is the reason So this is how it looks when corn red is dry. Now I use caribou crimson for the weapon as well. And shade it and then wait until it's dry. So now, this is part one for the Tyronet Leviathan uh, scheme. Um, 
I hope you liked it. Just follow the link to the next video if you want to see more. Um, please give a thumbs up rate for me. Uh, this helps a lot and uh, this helps my channel. And thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.